My daughter, Natalie, was diagnosed with aplastic anemia um, in December 2013. And uh, here I am. I never thought I'd be doing this. <clears throat> it actually was my husband who noticed, you know, that she really was having a difficult time at her basketball practices. She was getting winded, and I noticed that she looked very pale. He encouraged me to get her to the doctor to just have a look. And so it happened that Children's was open that night. And I'm like, I'm going to do it right away. So then I don't have to work, do it tomorrow, you know, for work. So I did. And the doctor called us back at 930. And I knew right away, this cannot be good. The doctor doesn't call you at 930 at night. So she said that her counts were low. and. Um, they were low in a lot of different areas. And I said, well, okay, well, can we come in tomorrow? And she said, no, we would like you to go to the hospital. And I said, really, are you sure we can't just wait till tomorrow? And then she started reading different numbers and, and said, they're waiting for you at the hospital. So I'm just like, we gotta pack our bag. <laughs> so we packed our bag and asked our kids to pray and I, I'll never forget I told my oldest daughter Sarah I said if there's any time for you to really pray really pray this is the time honey and then I did all these tests and said you know we really don't know what we're gonna try to find out we then we found out the next day that it was aplastic anemia they said the best possible cure for this was to have a bone marrow transplant. It would be awesome if you had, you know, an exact match. We could pretty much guarantee really awesome results with that. So, but it was only 25% chance that somebody would match. So we had no idea, but we just all started praying like crazy. We were blessed beyond belief. We could not, could and not believe it. It was Sarah, the one I said the to, to pray the most. Pray we were so fortunate to have that care and, and, and the people there to take care of her, her, her illness um, and to help her along this, this journey. She never complains. She never complained about any of her treatments. All the things she went through, she was just, I don't know, so courageous, so courageous. She just would listen intently to, you know, Dr. Margolis and his staff and the, the, the wonderful nurses that, you know, helped her in, in the hospital. And, but she, she really took the responsibility to, to heal herself and um, wanted to learn everything about her treatment and, and, and following everything step by step. And She's doing great. She is healthy and happy and back at school which was the big thing she really wanted to do, just get back with her friends. Uh, thank, thanks to everyone at Children's Hospital, and Dr. Margolis and his staff for all their expertise and love and, and patience. I know the MAC Fund is a big supporter of that and uh, the research and uh, the commitment to the helping, uh, uh, helping everyone fight these diseases that these kids unfairly get.